His name is Ayobami Ayinla. You know him as Papa Correct. He joins us right here in our Lagos studios. Welcome to the program. It's my pleasure, sir. Good morning, I'm, sir. I'm not a big fan of pranks. Okay, well. It's bad. You know, some people like pranks. Some people say, kind of people say, when you're the one that is pranking others, it's easier to handle yeah. of course, than uh, the one being pranked. Being pranked of course. So my, my, my first question is, seeing, seeing this scenario and other ones you've done, okay. are you not worried of what could, things can turn crazy and, go south, and right. go south? Yeah, of course I'm actually worried, but the thing is, it's actually depends on the kind of prank we play. Mm. The, so I'm always very cautious of the length at which I go or the length at which I, I push my, uh, my pranky. So I tend to always manage my environment very well. And besides, I have I actually walk around with my security guys also. Oh, so really? they always meet inside within the what's it called the crowd. So I always also playing along to see to make sure that everything is oh. everything. Oh, is you right. have a security team? Oh yeah, I have a security team, sir. Ah, that means you have a lot of money. Let, let, let's come to this thing in your hand. Yeah, even my national my national logo. How are these? What exactly is that? This is is it just for branding or there's something inside? What exactly is that part of your no, brand? It's, it's part of the brand, it's my logo, it's my identity. Why did you choose that? Oh, I chose that because it's actually something that I got used to. Which was the one that was I've been using all the way from what's it called from my tertiary institution, so I kept it with me, so it has always been with me. No, wait, you've yeah. been using this, yes, yeah, since I was in the university. How many years ago is that? It's, it's, I think I got it 2016, so it should be over 2016 to this time, it should be over let's say eight years. Eight years, about eight years, years. Yes. So, uh, I don't know if brands are produced this already looking uh, at you, but I think that's a smart thing for them, very easy. That's uh, just a straight goal. Eight years, and this is what you've been using. Did you take this to camp as well? Of course I did. Because now that's what you are using course, to make seems, a living. And it, 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 it touches at the very heart of, you know, the challenge food mm. today. People want to eat. So maybe when they see your cola, they can relate. When oh, they see your hmm. pranks as well. Just on the side, before we go on, I have a, a prank idea for you. Okay, sir. Okay, maybe we'll talk about But let me just give you the insight. Okay. You can go to a filling station. Okay. okay, and just open Blue the gate. Is... <laughs> <laughs> and say there's petrol. Oh, we are... <laughs> we are a of exactly. Of so it now comes back to the point you were making about how you go about your work ethically. Okay. So you say you don't go past um, a certain point. So what are the things you look out for before you go out to prank? Do you uh, do you do a script? Do you say okay, this is what I want to prank them about? Do you tell them beforehand? Or do you inform people around? Maybe you don't inform the seller, but you inform the people around the edge or I want to prank this person. How exactly do you build your set such that it's ethical and it doesn't go, you know, overboard? So, like, all right, thank you very much for that question. And like I used to say, it's always good to know what to prank, who to prank, when to prank, and even where to go and do the prank. Mm. So I'm always very converse, very careful about all these, those four things. So like um, the who to prank, always very careful about who actually I want to prank. Mm. Let's say, is it on the age grade, right? So it's not an, uh, someone that is too old to go and prank or someone that is too young. So let's consider that, that part. And if it's, if there are too many doubts of boys, so I actually, I actually avoid those kind of areas too. So you know, that's things I actually put into because and, and um, the way to prank also, I don't prank in places like Lagos or Jigmele. So I, I usually avoid those kind of places. <laughs> it's always the, what is called villages, and those people that are not too exposed. So not letting it's going out of going out of hands because I usually <clears throat> consider myself not always because it's only good to know when to stop because if you don't stop at, at the right time it might, it might go south. You might I see that I side that you want to get overboard. I'll, I'll let you talk. Once you talk, I just give one small one small hint, a copper. Before you know it, the person might just feel oh. like, uh, well, so. I imagine people recognize you already. Yeah, that's that's that has always been that is one of the big challenges that I'm having at the moment <laughs> because before you know it. Like the one I posted, not um, just today, this morning. Right. So before you know, it was just a copper, copper. So before before I post one video, there must have been like four or five of it that I must have been cast already. I would have just said, uh, this is copper, he's a prank, he's a prank, we know him, we know him. So so you have to scout for new locations. Just keep going. Like this, now, this morning, I'll be, I'm going to Elon from here. They already know that you're coming up. Ilo, you know, Ilo, they are Ilo, watching you. Ilo, don't tell I'm anybody. Okay. Don't tell anybody you're going to Lauren. Who tell anybody to that is coming to Lauren? <laughs> so how challenging can that be? Being the, being like the, we've watched. We, we have other prank stars on. I see them on Instagram as well as on uh, TikTok. Okay, sir. TikTok. I like TikTok. So we see all of them, uh, and sometimes we're like, wow, this almost went the other okay. way. Okay. So being so visible, being now known because of social media. 
how do you walk around to you know make yourself not to be easily identified and then you can do your thing and get the kind of because I know that when you go out to prank, there's a result you're trying to get. You're, sure, sir. you're trying to get shock, you're trying to get some some level of anxiety, some level of high degree of surprise, all sure, of these sir. elements. Yeah. Of course, sir. It's 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 happens with like I said earlier on, before every five if I shoot five five contents, four or three of these monsters have been casted out people that will know me and come into the and say, ah, he's a prank, we know him, he's a prankster. So what I usually do in those cases is that I have my team on ground. So once we get to the location, I'll just, we just scout. I'll, once I'm moving, you make the same way that I identify me, guy, go and meet him. Go and just go and stop my so I didn't come in to stage. Mm. So once I see that they, they, everywhere, is, everywhere is clear, so I can just go in and play the whole prank. Let's assume I'm coming to prank you guys here now. Yeah. So I, once I move in, I need to try, you know me, you're trying, you know me. I'll just ask someone to come and meet you and mm. tell you that you should not talk. So yeah. I'll just focus on the other people that doesn't know me. Fantastic. So, so you 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 do you do a lot of work uh, sure, of before course. you come out with the sure. content. So um well when we heard that you were coming, we thought, okay, fantastic. Let us um put word out there and just see um how many people will respond and all of that. And um a particular group of people apparently they've been looking for you. And um I, I know that this is a bit, a bit surprised. So what we'll do is we'll get them in. They've actually been looking for you, and they have police. <laughs> <laughs> they have police to arrest you. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm saying uniform man. Yeah, uniform man. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't prank yeah, you at this point. Okay, here. don't come here. Don't come here. Yeah, don't cast. I'm going to say. You get. Uh, we're trying to prank you right now. But <laughs> how? What is the worst thing that has happened to you exactly. in this process? Uh, <laughs> Uh, I, and I want you to tell us what is the worst experience you've had. Maybe you pranked someone and you were, I don't know, slapped, slapped. What is that? Water. What is that experience? You're like, ah, man, you was about to say, in Koshe, me. You see, you just yeah. come back, you stop this prank. Exactly. This so, again. what, what is that experience? Like, now, like, let me say it was my, actually, my prank with Portable. I'm sure you know Portable Zazu. Right. So, I went into his restaurant to go and be my kind of prank. So I got some drinks and tell him I bought something else. Let's say I bought alcohol. I told him what I bought is Pepsi. I bought what was it called chicken. I told him what I bought is meat. So I before I even went there, too, there were a lot of stories because issues that everything might go south. That you don't that you don't try it. But I was just like let let's just leave it try. At least it's human being also. So I waiting there. On getting there, it was such a very 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 tough experience. On getting there it was around I was like wow. Today is the due day. Mm. So when the old thing started, he just said, hey, 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 come, come. So he even invited me, I started questioning him. And before he knew it, his boys were even around the wire at my back already. Before I knew it, they used to call it Muru. You know what is called Muru? No, but well, you can tell us what, what, <laughs> what is, is like a back slab, a slab, a very hot one. Mm -hmm. So I, I received just one model for me, but that was that was not the first slap I got. That was not the only slap I got. I got another one anyway. The same but, day? No, not the same day. <sighs> I can see this one. I'm kind of sorry, I don't even see. So this part, <laughs> that was the class. That was the class it was actually the slap I, the second one. But the first one I got was from portable, and it was, but this one was even not as tough as that portable one because. You can imagine the kind of person you meet at that kind of a place yeah. and kind of how this slab would look like. So that slab, at least for, for like two days, it was still in my head. <laughs> so like, what about himself? Slap not not himself. One of his one guys. Of his guys. Just, just, hey, hey, full of my Like someone should give me one slab, maybe I'll come back to my sense. So. No, he ordered the slap. Yeah, yeah. And they offloaded yeah. him. You no, went no, to buy food, but you got sick. <laughs> so how did you get yourself out of that mess? Um, it was later on. I told him it was a prank. So you know, the moment I tell people that it is a prank, like let's say ninety nine percent of people will always burst into laugh. Like wow, can you imagine? So it was the aftermath reaction is always very enticing, always very. That that me. keeps you going. So uh, of course, it's, so, it's actually keeps me going. So how did you get into this whole business? There are so many things you could do: uh, singing, dancing. Rap, acting, the spectrum of the creative industry is quite wide. But he chose this. This is a dangerous job. Sure. We must say it. Why? Choose yeah. danger. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you know, there, is, there is this ideology, or let me say, stereotyping about pranksters that people tend to see prank as being dangerous, of which is not always dangerous on the long run. If for show, we give it the, the right view. Just that our, our my, my colleagues, or let me say, people that also carry out some pranks, mm -hmm. are making people to see prank as a dangerous dangerous job. It's not something that is dangerous because it can be, it can be done in such a way that you won't harm. Um, your particulars and you yourself will put yourself in the in the situation of of being armed because once you have enough uh, what's it called 
um, enough securities on ground. Not only that, at least you also know what you're going to pack about. You're not going there to go out with cutlass and start chasing out people. You're not going with stick and the like. So just, this is a normal conversation that people have on a normal day. You buy market, you don't want to pay. So people have conversation. You don't need to beat somebody for buying market. We're not paying you. Yes, you give me this why I need to pay you. So that's and this person is coming now, coming in as like an alien who used to use me to get where he's coming from. Right. But it's not for So they just want to explain to me why I must pay. So it's always an explanation. Right. So and uh, you also there's also a lesson to be learned from pranking sometimes is for people to be calm, right? Not to rush uh, into reacting. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, I don't know if that lesson has been. Uh, has been taken yet, uh, right? Because <coughs> essentially what you're preaching on the flip side, maybe you don't know, is that people should not react uh, in a brash sure manner. Be our brass keepers. Yes, and just to be calm, the fact that someone is maybe uh, misunderstanding a, a business agreement or not paying doesn't mean you, sh you have to be violent uh, to the person. I don't know if you get what yeah, I mean. Course, so it's a, also a lesson, There right? was a woman we actually did a prank with him when I traveled to what's called Benin State. Been in states, That's the, Edo. Edo states, Edo City, yeah, yeah, to do the prank. My fans gave the, the woman over 500,000 naira for being in for allowing me to go without paying for the food. So, there are a lot of people like that that we've actually appreciated for being kind. For being so, the prank also wants to uh, teach people how to be kind. Let's try to embrace each other, even if you're not from the same tribe or the likes. So, let's try to embrace each other and be able to keep us. So, it's not always about um putting danger in the face of everybody, so it's also always about sharing love and being 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 kind to him and so how did the political scientists and international relations uh -huh. experts now <laughs> how did you change your direction to this okay um let me say first thing that happened to me how okay like um i always want to be a lecturer oh really yes uh, so I you're doing your msc at the moment yes right? i was actually doing my ms but i actually dropped down to come and face my come and face this prank of a team I drop out to come and face the prank. So, because I, on the long run, let's say, I don't want to talk about the financial aspect of Vitcha, of the schooling, of the MSc. So, once I couldn't fund it anymore, I had to just find another means because a lot of bills and expenses are already on the way. Mm -hmm. And I was already doing prank then. So, I just have to face one and leave one for the other. So, are you planning on going back to the MSc? I wish I, 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 wish I could go. Go and study your master's? Um, in your show. No, what? What were you studying? Um, the same course, political science and international relations. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I imagine my lecturers, that... My lecturers want me back. Like, they want you back, right? Me back, I, 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 and let them give you a scholarship. A scholarship. I think that's something we can also start thinking about in our education sector. Uh, there are people like you who are doing well. And, I mean, you being in school would be a good one for the school, of right? Course. Imagine you putting out content about your school. That's free ad for your school. So it can be a win-win. School of can course. give you scholarship, and then you, get to, <laughs> <laughs> then you get to study. But that means that, obviously, this pays you. Of course. You're getting a lot from this. Not a lot. Let us use the word lot. <laughs> At least I'm surviving. I'm, uh, I have been in Nigeria. Okay, final question. If you were to prank, if you had an audience with Nigeria's president or a leader and you were to prank them, uh, is that something you take? Is that a, is that a, an opportunity you take to prank any of our leaders? Are we? Which of them would you choose? I would, I would have loved to choose the what's it called the governor of uh, Lagos State here. Yeah. The governor of Lagos State. You like to prank him? Yes. What kind of prank would you give him? This? Like, like when I was even coming today, because there was, there was a lot of traffic, so I had to took I, I took bike from what's it called from Songota to um what's this place called Agege. So and I remembered how the governor went to the to what's it called to stop bike men from taking. <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, if this man does stop me like this now, just uh, this one, I'm a cop out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I was like, you cannot challenge me. Like, what do you have to, to take this? I just win my ticket. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I will. We, we wish you the very very best. Thank man. you very much. Uh, I, I know you're you're doing the best you can to make sure that this creative space is a big space. I, I'm sure you're monetizing your social media as well. Of course, sir. Yeah, so you're earning in dollars as well. Yes, of course. Okay, that's why I say it's comfortable. Jeffrey had to go there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. We have to talk the money uh, because he has to he has to pay bills. <laughs> All right, Ayobami Ayinla, aka Copper Respect. Respect. I almost said Copper correct. Maybe that's what I said before. Yeah, I think you said that. But Copper correct. Okay. Copper yeah. respect. You are pranking him then. <laughs> Copper respect. Thank you. So, is that your social media handle? Of course, sir. So copper respect, they'll find you. Yeah, the copper, the copper is K O P A. 
So for ease of pronunciation, why? Yes. Why don't we leave it that way? Yeah, you know, it's copper. You know, you know Nigerians. We are. We are more trying to uh, to avoid being put in the tight corner because okay. that copper. Once they see copper, copper, you know, like maybe is this NYS related. Mm. So if at least one shot, you shall like now. Just take, that copper is KOP, King of Prank Africa. Oh, nice! Yes. I like that. Sweet. That's creative. So wish you the best, you and your cooler. <laughs> <laughs> All the best. <laughs> <laughs>